And like Sheriff Elder, Chief Carey, I also want to thank the family for the opportunity to share my thoughts with you today. I've been to, I think, over 70 funerals in my life in public service, and I can't think of anyone sadder than today. It's been said that Micah wanted his life to be an example of his words. Micah was far too young with a long, bright future ahead of him, but he gave more than a lifetime to his family, to his church, to his community, and to his state. He spent much of his 34 years helping those who couldn't help themselves. I wish I could have known Micah, but his benevolent energy and spirit rings clear through the stories that have been told today and over this past week. Hopefully that spirit will endure as we, all of us, tell and retell the stories of his life. We'll live on in his wife, Rachel, and his children, Eliana and Levi, who will get to know their father through these stories. It will get stronger from the little everyday acts of kindness that would have made him smile. It seems almost impossible to imagine, but we will heal. We will all heal. As written in John 14, 27, do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. Eliana and Levi, my dad died when I was almost exactly your age. And I know how hard it is and, and it's not easy. And no matter how great your mother is, and mine was great too, you're going to have to do some of the work. You'll even have to help raise yourselves. But my mother told me repeatedly that we had an obligation to make the best of our life and to create joy around us because that's what our dad would want. And she told us that when we really needed him, he'd be with us. And he, ho and he always has been. And Ileana and Le Levi, your father will be you, with you too when you really need him. Sometimes I wonder if God takes the best among us to remind us to live our lives to the fullest and live in their image. I think that's what your dad would want for us to love one another, to do on earth what he was doing in his life, creating joy. We may never make sense of this senseless act or of all God's intentions, but we can help build the world as Micah wanted it, the world as it should be. We can be an example of our words. Rachel, Eliana, and Levi, the entire state is grieving with you. Colorado is better off because of your father, and he will be sorely, sorely missed.